What up YouTube, Jordan Lance, Red Eye Racing, back for another video today, and today we are losing some weight, Jenny Craig style, <laughs> doing the rear seat delete and a couple other things, so let's go. guys this is the rear seat de delete kit right here from speed logics um, there are a couple different options there's a Mopar seat delete kit but it's been out of stock forever and who knows when they're gonna get it back uh, they had an engineering issue with it they said originally that one was for the demon but then they opened it up to other SRT owners um, so I tried to get that one, I actually ordered it, and then it was canceled from Mopar. So we got the Speed Logics one, which is not as nice looking, but it's better than just ripping out the seats and having a gaping hole to your trunk. So it has the matching carpet to match the rest of the car. So it should be pretty nice and just have some panels back there. Uh, we should just have to unscrew the Passenger seat rip that out and then take the rear seats out with a couple 18 millimeter bolts I believe and then this one should go in with some 10 millimeter bolts So let's hop down to the car and we'll throw it in should be about an hour. So let's go What's up y'all? Made it out to our famous parking lot out here. My car is disgusting. So excuse the <laughs> dirt, but uh Yeah, let's let's uh, let's get some weight loss going Get our little workout on for the red eye. Take out this front seat first, front passenger seat. Um, and I thought they were the little hex bolts, but it looks like. Oh, they are. Yeah, so we're going to have to go get the proper bolt because these are E bolts. I do not have E bolts. So we're going to get some E bolts and. Then we'll be able to pop this front seat out and then those babies back there are gonna go bye bye as well so we'll be back all right guys so we went to home depot and got our hex socket kits so as you can see they're like reverse torx bits uh, and we are going to take this little guy off now the 12 e12 So, let's put you on a little time warp and get this front passenger seat off. Alright, so we are unbolted. Just four of these little guys right here. Now let's try and get this thing out without doing any damage here. Should probably take the headrest off. Let's try that again. Okay, take headrest out. Let's lean this forward. And just bring the rail with us because we're going to put in new rail soon. <laughs> Oh, we are hooked in. Okay, we got to take out the electronics down here. So we're just going to unplug right here. Should be a simple little unplugging and the seat should come right out. All right, so we got those unplugged. Took probably 20 seconds. And our seat is out. This thing is heavy. All right. The moment of truth, how much weight did we save? All right, so looks like we lost 58.2 pounds just by taking out the front seat. Wow. Now we are gonna replace it with some racing seats next video. But, uh, <laughs> Spoiler. Yeah. For now, at least we got out approximately 60 pounds. The next step, let's try and do some weight savings in the trunk. 
now one thing we're gonna do is change this battery out for a racing battery um, but until we get that battery what we can do is get rid of this compressor let's see okay 4.4 pounds that comes off immediately then we'll take this little tray out okay so it's one pound a couple pounds no it's 4.4 with just the compressor so oh. another couple pounds ready so another thing you can do is take out the floor mats saves you know i don't even know a couple pounds but i think that's a little extreme for my purposes i just want to make the thing faster so apparently we can just pop these up yep Okay. Cool. These pop right out. Wish everything was that easy. All right, 15 pounds right there. So we got 15. We gotta remember all this so we can add it up at the end. 60, 15, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, so. What we're gonna do first here is remove these little seat belts. So we took out the bottom, the cushions, and we use our 18 mil here on the little seat belt adapter. Okay. Let's see these little guys. Why don't we try and get the single seat out? So what you do is you just pull on the tab in the top left and then there are 318 mils right here. All right, so to take this seat off, we took the 318 mils off and then we pulled up, but it didn't come off because it's attached in this little hole by this little pole that sticks out right here. So we just had to pull it to the side a little bit and then came right out. So let's weigh this guy. Nice, 13 pounds coming right off. All right, let's get the double. All right. Dual piece is out. Let's take this bad boy out of here. This one's definitely a little heavier. Over to the way station. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Thanks, you my number one fan. <laughs> Alright, 21. Alright, 21.4. A lot of weight coming off. Feel the speed coming. Oh, glory. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's check out the back seat. Nothing in it. Probably just take this pad out too. Um, we're thinking about taking these seat belts out. There's a bolt down here, a little torque bolt. But to get to this bolt, I gotta pop some panels out. So. I think I can probably get the middle seat belt out. But I gotta work on these side ones, so we'll be back. All right guys, so we figured out how to get the middle seat belt off. There was just a 18 mil holding it down at the bottom down here. And then at the top, there was a little, like, little plastic pin in here and here. You just had to pull back. And then that gives you access to go up into this little seatbelt roller right here. And there's actually a bolt behind there. Right here. You can see it. And we're gonna remove that and pull this whole thing out. Um, but in order to pull the seatbelt through, I think we're gonna have to remove this plastic piece and then pull the seatbelt through this way. And they should come out. Now we're gonna take off these little 
bolt right here, these little clips. There are 10 mils on each side of them. So a little 10 mil right there and a 10 mil on the other side. Rip those out real quick. And then on to the next step. <laughs> Always more steps. It never ends. All right guys, sweating ass now. <laughs> Opted to remove the seat belts on the side, which meant that the side panel had to come out. Uh, there was a bolt that is under the little airbag panel up here. And then the roller is a little lower right here. So you have to remove that. And then you have to remove the lower portion of the seat belt, which is bolted over here. And then once you do that, you want to take the bolt out from the bottom and then run it up through all the way through here and it will come out pretty easily boom both of the side seat belts are now out we'll put these panels back and then uh, put the rear seat delete panels in and be good to go all right guys so we got our carpeted panels right here that we're gonna throw in to replace the rear seats. So let's weigh these up, see how much they weigh. 11.6, and let's see, the other one. Eleven point six. Oh, cool. So 23 pounds, right? Yeah going back into the car but we removed 58 13 and 22 6.8 with the stuff from the trunk so uh, we'll add it all up at the end because we got to throw the seat belts in there and all these bolts that came out too and we'll get the total weight savings for you guys Bye. guys so we got our bottom panel in all you'd have to do is remove these little white push pins that are art so there's four of them there's these little white push pins one two three four what you're gonna do is pull out the two ones in the middle and you replace them with black ones that speed logics provides that are much longer so they'll go through your bottom panel and then into the frame so bottom one's done now we're going to put the top one in. All right, so the top panel, we got one side screwed in. Now we got to get the other side. So what we have to do is go through the trunk and you actually got to take this panel out. So we popped that push pin out. Well, actually it didn't. It got stuck in there but we got to pop these back and then you got to screw in an 11 mil bolt from the back so we go through that little hole right there on the right side and then screw it into the back of the wood panel so um, you cannot see it coming through the front so you don't see any bolts which is nice all right guys we got all our pieces that were removed from the car out here. We're going to weigh them up each one by one. And we'll get you the total weight removed from the car, total weight saved, and then we'll check out that seat delete and see how nice it looks in there. Our total weight savings right here, 125.8 is what we took off the car. And then what we put back on, they were like 12 pounds I each. I think so. That's quite a bit coming off of the passenger seat and from the rear end. And we'll jump inside and I'll show you how it looks. 
looks beautiful in my opinion we got a little crap here we need to vacuum out but looks very nice the carpet matches exactly so that was cool uh, didn't take too long it was really easy all we had to do was put these two push pins in and then screw in two bolts from the back in the trunk which took a little longer but overall pretty easy modification so recommend you guys do that if you don't need your back seats uh, but yeah if you like what you saw hit that like button smash the subscribe button <laughs> jordan lance red eye racing thanks for tuning in see you next time